Hi everyone, and this is the legendary. I'm back again with more. This time I'm gonna be doing another Bailey Burst unboxing. This time it's gonna be Hasbro's Beyblade Burst Doom Sizer. So this Beyblade is Doom Sizer, and Takara's telling me it's called Death Sizer, but Death is basically a little bit too much for a kid's TV show in America, so as it changes to Doom, I guess it's gonna give it the same feel, but Death just sounds scarier. But anyway, this is Hasbro Beyblade Burst, that is the logo for ages A and up, and it's Doom Sizer, Oval Ocel, but they do have some numbers, some suggested numbers. But then I have to actually say that you can say a whole style, so it's official. And if you're wondering, that doesn't attack. Attack, burst, defense, none, weight, agility, and stamina. Stamina actually has one. That's surprising thing. Job track, both of them. This is the same exact tip. Somehow has one more stamina. Crazy. Okay, so. Those are the suggested numbers and layers that you want to call them. But it doesn't matter. Okay, let's get to this unboxing. Whenever you want to unbox a Hasbro Bailey Bird Pod, always start from the bottom because this is the weakest spot. So you push in on the bottom, then, hear that sound? Start ripping like that. That's actually pretty clean, so. In my live run unboxing, I did go through this, so I won't go through this again. Okay. So this is the Beyblade that we're working on. I do have the taco version to compare it to, so that's all I'll do. Basically, the old discs are exactly the same, but I want to compare these layers. Just by looking at it, you can actually see a difference. As you can see, the, um, there's purple all around the whole layer. And there's only a little bit of that dark purple-ish look on this two parts of the whole outer ridge of the layer. So, I'll say that this one actually looks better, the Hasbro looks better, and then the uh, top, the Takara one actually looks cool, right there with that gold, but this one is actually in silver color, and they make the eye look a little bit better compared to this one, but see if like darkness is around the head, they change that part. It's okay. It still looks pretty cool. So, that's basically the differences. And it's also kind of body plastic for hands, but that's it. And then, one more thing to know is that, what is it? I don't know what it is, but it looks cool and red. This thing actually has no color, it's just clear. Or you could call it black, but it's still pretty cool. On the back you actually see Taco has teeth, Hasbro has no teeth, it just slides, but it did get that nice HD QR code that it could scan right now. You pause the video though. And assuming that you've already paused the video, let's get on to the next part. The oval discs. They're exactly what the name suggests. They are oval. Yeah, they're oval. Hmm. That's basically it. There's no difference at all. They have the same exact shape. Nothing's different. It's just one shinier because it's newer. And that's it. Okay, for this, for the drivers or performance tip, Hasbro called a performance tip. Tucker calls it a driver. I'll say that there's almost no difference. They look, they look essentially the same except for 
Aperol actually looks rounded off. I don't know why. You can actually kind of see a difference. The red one looks rounded off, while the purple one actually looks just flat. That's a noticeable difference. So I think this one will actually have a little bit more stamina compared to the Takara one. Because with it being just flat, I will say that it's more aggressive, but still, it might actually run that stamina a lot. I mean, faster. It's going to have more stamina because of its rounded off parts. So, I'll say Anthro is a little bit better for that part. Oh, I almost forgot to mention that in this design of the layers, this whole part is filled in with this um, black plastic, just like the Anthro one. So, this part right here is reinforced, and just reinforced. It's also clear, meaning that there's no black plastic going over there. Whereas with the Hasbro one, it's actually the same exact thing. So for, oh, there's no stickers. But other than that, it's exactly the same. Okay, so this is what the Beyblade looks like. Now I'm going to put it together. Actually didn't put it together yet, so... Let's see how it is. I'll tell you how hard it is to slide. Hmm. It's actually very hard to slide around here. So, I'd say that this would be kind of a challenging day for the first. Okay, let's do a test spin and test out. I'm using a regular Hasbro launcher so I could kind of um, have around the same amount of spin as I do when I launch this Beyblade, so, three, two, one, what? Rip. It's actually pretty aggressive, and I see it with my own eyes. Pretty aggressive. And, I actually like the nice weird look. That I gave it. But that's basically it. So let's go to the test bound. Three, two, one, light. Go. Shoot. That was actually... The only I actually got lucky in that sound. Because it barely had any spin left. It was just spinning on the... It was just spinning the last few seconds of its time. But then, it somehow knocked Death Factor into the pocket. And then, Death Factor burst it. Okay. Now I'm sending this video. Overall, what do I like about this Beyblade? Well, I like the colors. I like how it has a little bit more stamina since it's um, around the edges is a little bit rounded off, so it has more stamina. Um, I like that it's actually stronger than the Takara version in that one battle that I've done as a test. So, I don't know what is it that I don't like about it. There's not really much to say. Since I haven't really been able to test it out. But that's all I've got. So, like if you want, favorite if you want, and subscribe for more awesomeness. See you next time. Bye, and I'm proven to be legendary. I definitely recommend this Beyblade if you want to get it.